Good morning guys, as always it is a big warm welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now today I am off for a two and a half, three hour journey from East Anglia, Suffolk, UK up north and the reason for that is is because I have been notified by a good friend and Vitro member that there is a genuine 1978 Ford Escort RS Mexico being left in storage from when the car was only 18 months old. I know that's probably hard to believe, but I do have images sent to me by the owner and it definitely, definitely looks like an original RS Mexico. So the reason I'm off up north today is because the car is for sale, but it comes with a little bit of a package. Now what I mean by that is the lady who owns the car has also got a Mini Cooper as part of the deal as well. So they are two in my opinion very iconic cars that I would certainly be interested in buying. Now when I was speaking to the lady she said are we also interested in any motorcycles? Now I'm not a huge motorcycle fan but I am I do appreciate good good motorcycles so I've got no idea what they are so I said yes of course if the deal is right um, and uh, the motorcycles come with the Mini Cooper and the Mark II Mexico then we'll certainly look to see if we can do a deal. But obviously with those type of cars, they are of a huge value now. So I've got no idea of what uh, the asking price is for this, this package of vehicles. But as I say, I've got a three hour journey ahead of me and I'm going to record that for you. Okay guys, just to give you a little bit of a background on why my enthusiasm is for the, the Ford RS range is because I think it's a little bit of a nostalgia thing with me because um, my third ever car when I was a young lad, just at 18 years old back in the, uh, the late 80s, uh, I bought a Mark II RS2000 which was a droop snoop. Now, I really sort of cut my teeth on those cars. My RS2000 was 1977, it was an early one, it had the, the two litre badges on the wings, it had the Ford in um, sort of on the front grille, not the oval, but that was an early front grille, that was what the RS2000s had, the early ones, and um, it had the, the, the dark black stripe at the bottom of the doors. Um, so as you can imagine, um, having this call to see this RS Mexico um, it's really exciting for me and I also had a Mark II RS Mexico as well. They only made them in 1978 and there wasn't a huge amount of RS Mexicos that went out of production. Um, they were the front, flat front escorts, they had the quarter bumpers and they were sold originally with the 1600 um, Pinto engine uh, overhead camshaft um, and in, in all honesty they were not a great performance car. Um, matter of fact, if I remember when I had my RS Mexico back in the day in the 80s, I used to call it a rice pudding because <laughs> you couldn't pull a skin off a rice pudding, that was the old saying here. And um, everyone used to convert the RS Mexico flat front to the two litre Pintos. And the obvious conversion was the 2.1 Pintos. And then we used to put on either the most popular carburetor on that setup was what they called a 38 D gas that used to come off the three litre Capris. Or if you wanted to, you could then go to the 40s, 45, 48 carburetor setups. So as you can imagine, um, I sort of cut my teeth on this, on this era of cars. Um, there's not a lot I don't know about the RS, um, Ford RS range from Mark 1s to 2s. Just some of the pointers that I'll be expecting to see on this Mark II RS Mexico is the date stamped on the Allies. Um, it should have 1978 in the middle of the four spoke, but on the Mexico, that again was an optional extra. Um, I will be expecting to see the original strut tops uh, in place. Um, they also had a very heavy wax oil from factory as well. So if this car has been sitting since it's only like 18 months old, it will have um, quite a lot of wax oil around in the engine bay. Uh, the chassis numbers were GCA. The chassis numbers was not only on the plate itself, but they were actually stamped round the top of the strut top as well. 
and contrary to what some people believe the RS Mexico did not have a black rear panel now that black rear panel only came on the Droop Snoot Series 2 RS 2000 and a giveaway on that black panel as well they used to have a black tape around the edge which some restorers they they, they often miss so uh, but this is a Mark II Mexico so again that didn't have a black panel so it's going to be really interesting to see this car and to see the originality of it is from from all those years ago welcome to Ventro.com your automated hub for exclusive discounts on services and products which we've personally approved so sign up for free and get exclusive discounts across all these range of services at Vintro.com. Much, much later. Hi guys, just another clip from uh, where I've been today. As you know from my earlier video, I set out early this morning. I've been on the road now approaching six hours. I'm, I'm now heading home. I'm about one hour away from home now. Um, so the question is, was it worth it? And uh, I'm really, really excited to say, yeah, absolutely it was worth it. Um, I can't believe after all these years of my um, my history of knowing RS Escorts that I've just unearthed a such a genuine Escort Mark II Mexico, RS Mexico. Um, you just don't see them like this, what I've just experienced. This is a, a car that has never had the air filter change because Mexico's RS's, they all had K and air, air filters. This is still in the original air filter. It's got the original exhaust because again, the most popular upgrade and there's nothing wrong with that it was like change the the rs manifold to a four branch into two in one two into one exhaust again this has got nothing of that so it, it is so so original it even has the original back panel in the car because they used to rust out and suffer that and many many mark ii escorts had replacement back panels and seals it has had work in the past but um, again it's it's been minor and the, the car is as I say so original one thing I did notice is it didn't have RS alloys the four spoke um, but that's no problem because as I said um, with RS2 Mexico's they all came with a steel five and a half inch J deep well rim originally that was often used on the Cortina gears and the um, and the Capri gears. So that was what Mexico's were sold with. The four spoke RS allies were an optional extra. Now this car has got upgraded uh, Minolite style um, wheels, which which is great. Which was a great upgrade in the day. Really suits the car. So there's no no problem with that. Um, and also being a 78 RS, it's got the the roll top Recaros. Now, a lot of people think with RS Escorts, particularly Mark IIs, that they should have the, the Recaro fishnets. That's absolutely not true. The, the early RS Escorts, Mark II I'm talking about here, from 1976 or 75 actually, through to 79, they were sold with the, the roll top Recaros. And it was only the later, um, 79 onwards Mark II Escorts that were sold with the fishnet Recaros. Um, that again that you often used to see in the Capris, the gears and stuff like that, or the or uh, if I remember the, the Capri S, the two litre and three litre Capri S, they, they had fishnet Recaro. So it was such a lovely thing. It took, it took me back in time really to when I was a young lad in the uh, in the 80s when I used to rag around and um, in these RS escorts. Um, to see one all these years later in that condition, it was really. Um, heartwarming moment uh, you know I never thought I would ever see a Mark II Mexico again in that original condition and what is most intriguing about the Mark II Mexico it wasn't that over desirable because the Mark II RS2000 really superseded it but being the flat front with the quarter bumpers and the 1600 Pinto engine it was produced in such small numbers um, I, I couldn't even imagine how many Mark II Escort Mexicos there are left probably I'm, I'm hazard to guess probably 2025 particularly in that original condition so from that perspective what an incredible day now just before I go on there was also another car there it was a Mini Cooper it's a late 90s version of the uh, Mini Cooper and um, again incredible incredible condition very original untouched um, and um, I was absolutely delighted to see that too 
I love the Mini, the original style Mini, particularly from the 60s Coopers and the 70s early Minis. This is obviously still that shape, but it is a late 90s one. Um, I'm pleased to say uh, I've done the deal. I've done the deal with the owner. Um, I'll be heading up there in the next uh, few days to pick up the two cars. Um, and I've got a video of that for you in the next clip. Now, as I said earlier on, we have an opportunity as well with the deal to buy a couple of really nice motorcycles. Well, those motorcycles are the Triumph 650 Tiger. Now, that is a real classic, iconic English motorcycle. Um, they, that was that and the Triumph Bonneville, Bonneville that was, um, they are really true icons now. There's one of those there which is totally restored incredible condition absolutely incredible condition i have an opportunity to buy that as well plus a honda 504 which i believe which i believe is a two-stroke engine very very rare today um i did offer a package deal to the owner but uh, they've refused my deal to date um i might go back with a little bit of a counter offer on that but even though I love my motorcycles, it's not its not really my true expertise. Uh, where the RS Escorts, there's not much I don't know about those, so I'm very confident in, in what I've un, uncovered there. Uh, but the motorcycle side of things, um, I just need to do a little bit of research. Now, will I keep all this stock, if you like? Will I keep the Mexico, will I keep the Mini and Possibly if I buy the two motorcycles. If I bought the two motorcycles as part of the package, then I'll probably look to move those on. I do have some images which I'll share with you on that. The Mini, um, I'm interested in keeping, and I'll probably, would you believe it or not, possibly might move on the Mexico, but um, as you know with, with me with cars, I do get very attached and um, I do start collecting cars. Um, but there is an opportunity here for, for, me, for myself to, to make a, a few quid if I want to, but that's that's not the uh, the sole purpose of the trip today and to buy these. It was just so lovely to see the Mexico. It took me back in time, and I've ended up buying the car and of course the Mini. So I hope you've liked the clip to date. I will share some photos, and the next thing will be when we go and actually collect the cars.